ऐसे इज अन अनटचेबल इन अनटचेबिलिटी सोशो बाय बाबा साहेब अंबेडकर चैप्टर 2 पार्ट 28 दीस आर सम ऑफ द फैक्टर्स व्हिच डिटरमिन द प्लेस एंड स्टेटस ऑफ अ कास्ट इन दिस हिंदू हायरार्किकल सिस्टम ऑफ कास्ट्स सच इज कास्ट एंड सच इज कास्ट सिस्टम क्वेश्चन इज इज दिस इनफ टू नो द हिंदू सोशल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फॉर अ स्टैटिक कंसेप्शन ऑफ द हिंदू सोशल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड आइडिया ऑफ द कास्ट एंड द कास्ट सिस्टम इज इनफ वन नीड नॉट ट्रबल टू रिमेंबर मोर देन द फैक्ट that the hindus are divided into castes and that the castes form a system in which all hang on a thread which runs through the caste system in such a way that while encircling and separating one caste from another it holds all of them together as though it was a string of tennis balls hanging from one above the other but this will not be enough to understand caste as a dynamic phenomenon to follow the workings of caste in action it is necessary to note one other feature of caste besides the caste system namely class caste system the relationship between the ideas of caste and class has been a matter of lively controversy some say that caste is analogous to class others hold that the idea of caste is analogous to class and that there is no difference between the two others hold the idea that caste is fundamentally opposed to that of class this is an aspect of the subject of caste of which more will be said hereafter for the present it is necessary to emphasize exercise one feature of the caste system which has not been referred to here in before it is this although caste is different from and opposed to the notion of class yet the caste system as distinguished from caste recognizes a class system which is somewhat different from the graded status referred to above just as the hindus are divided into so many castes castes are divided into different classes of castes the hindu is caste conscious he is also class conscious whether he is caste conscious or class conscious depends upon the caste with which he comes in conflict if the caste with which he comes in conflict is a caste within the class to which he belongs he is caste conscious if the caste is outside the class to which he belongs he is class conscious anyone who needs any evidence on this point may study the non brahmin movement in the madras and bombay presidency such a study will leave no doubt that to a hindu caste periphery is as real as class periphery and caste consciousness is as real as class consciousness caste it is said is an evolution of the varna system i will show later on that this is nonsense caste is a perversion of varna at any rate it is an evolution in the opposite direction but while caste has completely perverted the varna system it has borrowed the class system from the varna system indeed the class caste system follows closely the class cleavages of the varna system looking at the class as the caste system from this point of view one comes across several lines of class cleavage which run through this pyramid of castes dividing the pyramid into blocks of castes the first line of cleavage follows the line of division noticeable in the ancient chaturvarna system the old system of chaturvarna made a distinction between the first three varnas brahmin kshatriya vaishya and the fourth namely the shudra the three former were classes as the regenerate classes the shudras was held as the unregenerate class this distinction was based upon the fact that the former were entitled to wear the sacred thread and study the vedas the shudra was entitled to neither and that is why he was regarded as the unregenerate class this line of cleavage is still in existence and forms the basis of the present day class division separating the castes which have grown out of the vast class of shudras from those which have grown out of the three classes of the brahmin kshatriya and vaishya this line of class cleavage is the one which is expressed by the terms high caste and low caste and which are short forms for high class castes and low class castes the end